the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. You know, it, I, I, I hate, I hate even talking no, no, I think, about this world and this world system. I you think, know, without you, you got to put in perspective. I want you to understand what, what the Bible talks about. The people in biblical times, the Bible talks about bad behavior of people to show a contrast to what God is saying. Why you must be born again? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm just letting you know. I'm just saying, I, I just don't, me per, I don't like talking about our, our, our government. I, I just, it just is, it bothers me now. It should. Because it's, it's gotten so bad that if you point out the truth about a thing, Mm -hmm. then people get so offended why that it affects their very behavior yes. towards you um, because you don't agree with them then it's like there's this visceral reaction that is almost uncontrolled by the individual who disagrees and then there is separation vision you know, uh, uh, man, altercations, know. all this stuff come from just but, but, just from from that. Yeah. So you know, there is a spiritual it's, it's connection a, it's to a, that it's a warfare, bro. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and, no, I mean, interrupt you, but I want to show you the fact is, well, look at look at uh, who's the one that got stoned uh, after Jesus, the deacon was. Who was that? Oh God! Was that Timothy? No, not Timothy. It was uh, you had uh, it was two main two dip. One was Philip, and the other one was Stephen. Stephen was yeah. Stephen, Stephen was Stephen. Stephen is an example of what you was talking about. What happened to Stephen is an example of what you're talking about. Stephen went before those that Sanhedrin and all those other people that was around him and he started off giving a a scenario leading all the way to, from abraham up to jesus mm -hmm. and if you saw how they just they bit him they spit on him they pull his you know what i mean they they that what you was describing i'm trying to say what you were describing yeah. Is what happened to Stephen. What you're describing is what they try to do until Jesus, until the hour came for Jesus to leave. How many times they want to pick up the stone and stone him? Yeah. They called him, and then here's the labeling. I'm just showing you there's a parallel of patterns that the enemy uses still today. Yeah. They they called Jesus when the black the man that was eyes were open blind and said, We know this man is a sinner. And the man sit there and said, wait, 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 this is a marvelous thing. How, what have you heard of a sinner? Open the eyes of a man born blind. How do you know, know where he came from? Do you not know that if, if this, this had to be of God and God is not listening to a sinner, but you need to call him a sinner so you can crucify him. You can arrest him. You mean that? Remember, they want to arrest Jesus, didn't they? And, and, and how many prophets were killed? Poor Jeremiah. Look at Jeremiah. You, you saw how they did to him, right? <laughs> it's, 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 it's a pattern I've seen throughout the history of the Bible, and now you see it in modern times. If you Matter of fact, if one scripture said that, you mean this heard it? One scripture said, Those who live godly shall suffer persecution. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because that's when you're saying you go under 
the way not of the world. Yeah. You, I mean, you, Jesus told his disciples, if they persecuted me, they're going to you. Yeah, that, you can, Rest assured, you don't be. <laughs> I think I think that's it. That's why. So I said when I look at when I look at those things and and I see the, the intent of tying in, I, I want to bring it. I, I, I make sure that those parallels are not indifferent. But I do like to say you're right. It had to been the stress had to been stressful then in the biblical days, and mm -hmm. just as distressful and grieving of the spirit today. And the compassion of God sending Jesus, the compassion of even when God sent Moses to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 I can even imagine we talked two weeks ago about Cain and Abel. Abel was like, you know, because what, what you saw there, that, that lines up what you were talking about a few minutes again, too. Yeah. Why, why, why was Abel? Hey, why was Abel killed? Because he was going the way. He was doing it the way he was told to do it. Yeah. And then there's other joker because he didn't want to do it that way. He wanted to do it his way. He wanted to please God his way. He killed Abel, his brother. You see my you see how I'm coming from? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. So 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 now at least you can relate to what I'm talking about. I know it is something bad when you think about it. But it's it's, it's the fact is it's in the Bible too. <laughs> it is just no difference. It's just that we but what you gotta believe is the saints of old time and the saints today. The compassion is to preach that we said to do, preach the gospel. Yeah. Into preach the kingdom of God. Yes, sir. Preach the kingdom of God. And let people renew their mind about the kingdom. The ruin the mind to be what you call Hevidians. It's the fact yeah. is that look, there's a better way. Yeah. There's a better way. There's a way that doesn't deal with the outward appearance. Because you in, in the out look, those labels, Nazis, communists, or uh, criminals. Oh, thugs. thugs. All these are, are just tools of the enemy for discord. And, and it, it calls brethren to, to justify hate when they're not being, you know, in other words, they keep you from bearing the fruits of the Spirit. Because now that those things, anytime you react to it any other way, you're not bearing fruit. And I think you said it earlier is, is that, is, is that, what what was what you trying to say it was when you when you dealing with yourself you asking is this of God yeah. right? opposed or really I think the better word is said is, is this bearing fruits of the spirit yeah is it this has where is, if if I feel grieved towards somebody or hate or whatever where's my patience in there what's it called long suffering yeah well where if, if I'm if it's showing anger where's my gentleness. Where's my goodness? Yeah. Come on, bro. In other words, that's why I've been on that, that series with the little TikTok thing is, it's the character that people should strive for, not not legalism, not what, how, how often you pray or, or how many scriptures you can quote or, or, or what kind of clothes you wear or what place you go. Uh, it, 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 it's the character of the Holy Spirit being manifested through you. The Holy Spirit is in what well, in you, <laughs> and His He's the one that's doing the work. If you get out of His way, woo! I, I, I just love it. I'm just telling you, say so. So that's why we want to get back and say, explain you must be born again. You know what what came to mind what's that is you can have a child who was brought up in just a, a horrible situation you know uh the parents could have been uh drug users you know poor uh, abusive 
Yes. And then that child is adopted, you know, to a family who is the opposite of that. Mm -hmm. Now that child, it's still going to exist as if it was in that lifestyle prior to. That's why a lot of adoptions are not successful. Mm. Not because the, the, the adoptees aren't showing love and providing a different atmosphere, right. but that the child can't release itself from the bondage of that life that it was in. Just like Israel. But now, and, 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 and there are cases where the adoptee is abusive. Yes, sir. You know, and, and, and that environment may be bad. Uh, but what I'm saying is we, we, we're adopted into a family of God. Yes. And so just like that adopted child over time starts to pick up traits from their adopted family, yeah. their adopted parents, they start acting like them over time. It's not an automatic thing. Right. They start trusting them. Yeah. They start opening up to them, cultivating that relationship, seeing that, that the decisions that are made by those adoptive parents are to benefit them. Right. You yeah. know, and so it takes a while for them to actually feel like they are a part of that family instead of added to that family. Right. And likewise, it is with us who are born again. Come on. Now, immediately, we are in that family. Yes, but sir. it takes the renewing of our mind. Yes, sir. That's the to change that at that attitude and that 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 default of where we came from. Yes. And it's not just it's it's more than just an effort to, to to go to church and to hear messages. It's it's so far beyond that. And we've 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 I've just been led to say this, we've truly fallen away from what this is all about. And that is to understand that we are children of God. Yes. And to learn the nature of God and the nature of Jesus Christ and to cultivate that so that it becomes a part of us and we start mm -hmm. resembling that. You know, the Bible talks about the knowledge of God and Jesus Christ is everything. 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 Just in the knowledge of that, forget these scriptures. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about what the, well, these testimonies, because that's what these scriptures are. Uh -huh. But to have that intimate relationship right. and knowledge of our Father God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the image of God uh -huh. and who is the perfect human yes. the express image. example of how we should be living this life right. as a Heavenian here on earth. Yes, sir. And so just grabbing that and, and seeing that and walking in that will more and more give you that sense that you are in this family. Right. And that's what this is all about. Then you can look at all this stuff that's going on in this world as what it is. Yeah. Just things of this world. Yes, it is. And your objective is to share what your nature is. Right. If that is the nature of God yes. and the kingdom of heaven. Right. And so it's just that simple, but that hard. Well, it's that hard because I never noticed that people, you know, I, I was while you was talking, I was thinking about what is a current pattern going on today in this world and society. Hitler said give me the young ones let me let us educate them let's mm -hmm. educate that 
generation is coming before after us. And the whole purpose is the, our world system has another way of indoctrinating people that you almost said if we had got to put the same energy that these indoctrination of the world's way, mm -hmm. if we had put the same energy in that into ministry, equipping the saints to do what you just said is to, hey guys, look, when you come to service, this is not entertainment. This is not about how well somebody getting harmonized or, or or it's not a foot it's not a feel good thing. You don't come here to feel good. Right. You know, it's we not know. about hearing good music. No. You know. Uh uh it's about that, that, that's a byproduct. It is. Well, you know, if I think about it, you think about the concept of sports. You you remember, you play football and basketball, right? You remember, before y'all started, the, se the season began. I mean, the preseason, the practice, and all that stuff. First was conditioning, wasn't it? Yeah. They, they ran you, they just ran you, and ran you, and ran you, and ran you. Yeah. you know, they tried to kill you. Then they get into fundamentals, yeah. right? And then yeah, we- That was part of the fundamentals, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got to get you the fundamentals. And then we sit there and then we pad you up if you're football. And then we start running plays. And we're making running plays over and over again so that when we go in the game, we know the plays that you're supposed to do. Everybody knows what you're supposed to do. If we put this in that same thing, how Hitler did it with the, the, the building the Nazi empire, getting these young people indoctrinated in them. That's what's happening with, uh, when you're talking about racism, that, that's 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 taught, right? That's a taught behavior. Mm -hmm. And it's taught at the home level. It's not taught necessarily in school. The school's got another thing they're teaching. But I'm talking about it's the parents are passing on in, in a very look, in a very passionate and aggressive way to their children. Yeah. That they become. Now, think about that. If the parents, if the ministry would do the same thing, but not toward the world's way, but God's way, we would have an equipped body of Christ being able to make changes and affect changes in our society. And and I, I don't know if I told you before, and, I, and, and when I went to that first minister conference, I told you, I think I told you, you may have heard, I said, I went to a minister conference, and I told him, I said, we need to tell people everything we know. Everything, everything. And the guy said, who would be in charge then? And if that's the mentality that people have, you know, put in their mindset, if you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Well, I mean, that's that's just, that's why Jesus was killed. That's mm. why they murdered, that's why they murdered him. Yes. Because he was telling them everything. Yes. Yeah. And giving them everything. Yeah. And so it took them from being in charge. Come on. Oh, no, you didn't say that. You, yes, you did say that, didn't you? It, that was their fear. Yeah. That they, you know, I mean, you see it all in the Bible to sit there. I remember one of the conversations they said is like, we have done nothing. This man is, you know, when, when, when he was going to the uh, Palm, the Palm Sunday was coming in, right? Yeah. And it was like, look, the whole world is going after that. Yeah. And you, you sit there and, and, and it's like, that's when Nicodemus came. My friend, we were talking about, that's when Nicodemus came. Nick, and Jesus even said, when we get to those scriptures, he said, are you not a teacher? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. He, 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 oh, did you hear that? He, yeah. He's y'all not teaching. Hey, look, he basically equivalent saying is, you, if you're not, if you don't get this, how you? Who, what are you teaching them? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I'm teaching them how to obey me and watch me and pray in the streets corners and and and, and, and elevate me and my status. Oh, teaching them how to exalt 
them. Mm. There's no no different than their father Satan who wanted to steal the glory that was due to God. Mm. Just there, and and it's it makes so much sense. You are of your father. Mm. <laughs> That is uh, no, bro. What, what you just brought my mind to it, is that 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 pattern of behavior, is where they want people to depend on the building, depend on that. And I mean, you heard it many times. Some people talk about they go to church and say, "I don't bring my Bible to church. The pastor reads to me." Yeah. And and or the, or it's up on a, it's it's. It's it's projected on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Well, with, at least that gives some people something to read too while they're talking. You read it, right? But but my point though is though is that we're not have the emphasis been to take it back with you when you go back home. Yeah. The children's ministry is that the only time they're going to get education? Is that the children's ministry? If that's the only time you're gonna pick up the Bible, when we talk about sometimes they, they had a Bible in the car. They have it up there in the back seat. Everybody can see they got the Bible. The only time that Bible's picked up is when they go to service. You talked about the fact this earlier about the relationship. See, because remember that it's called a reconnecting to God. I mean, that, that's born again, right? It's, it's the connection to God. Jesus said, I don't do nothing except for what the Father shown me and taught me I, I don't say nothing i have given you his word i have glorified him that's who it was all about i'm, I'm doing with the father and i'm trying to say is that somewhere along the line it was not taught to teach that to your children teach it to yourself you know what i mean we we we, we got work to do is all i'm trying to say and anybody listening what we want is that everything that you do pass it on to your children to the best of your ability but i think that's where a lot of children go astray because look look see 